Hello everyone. So in this video, uh, we will learn how we will connect Node.js application with the Cloud DB. So we will use the MongoDB here, MongoDB Atlas. So uh, we will open the MongoDB.com and uh, we will create an account there. So I am creating this uh, because uh, if you are a fresher, then you need to know that how we can connect our application with the MongoDB. I will show you from the scratch that uh, how we can create an account uh, in mongodb.com on cloud and how we can create a cluster and database uh, then uh, how we can connect this uh, database to our node.js code so uh, we have to create the account we have to put some basic information that i have like given here agree a terms and condition and uh, create account so a verification link will be sent to the given email address uh, let's wait uh, for a second so it has been sent now we need to verify this email address so let's move to the uh, my mail account uh, for a demo purpose i have like created this account uh, so this will be no longer available after like this video and uh, now the account is successfully verified this will nav navigate us to welcome screen uh, then now we will move to uh, the next screen uh, here we need to select uh, like uh, why we are using mongodb for creating new application or to learn mongodb so uh, we can choose any of the one from here so i have selected this and uh, uh, need to select the which type of application we are building if you are not like uh, um, aware of the application you can select other and uh, now need to select the uh, languages in which language you are going to use so i will use in node.js so i am using javascript here so uh, we can change it from here so i am selecting the Uh, learn mongod from the upper menu and here no application and javascript and i'm just completing this by clicking finish so now uh, we have this screen in this there are uh, different type of plans available so obviously we will go with the free plan we'll create the cluster from here so the cluster is creating need to select the information we will uh, keep all the information as it is and we'll create the cluster uh, so <coughs> this is some information about the cluster and additional settings so we will leave all as it is and we'll create on the cluster button and now a uh, quick start security question are there so we need to create the username and password so uh, i'm using uh, the my own username like Nakul Singh, uh, you can select anything, whatever you want. And a simple password I am writing the only the Nakul at one two three four, so that uh, this will be easy to remember. Uh, later we can change this. That's not an issue. Uh, so let's wait. Uh, we can see the password from here and create user so uh, i have created a user now uh, we will add the ip address so uh, we can uh, we want to access this from anywhere so i'll write this uh, 000 slash 0 so we can access from anywhere and i'll add this and after this uh, I am good to go and yep so my account is created cluster is created now uh, we can connect this with our code so uh, we can click on this connect button you can create a new cluster from here if you want but uh, uh, we are good from our existing cluster because this is a paid 
uh, service so we will close this now we can click on this connect button and here uh, we will be connecting our application with the mongodb so connect your application we'll click here and here you can see there is a url so this url will uh, be written in the node.js code uh, by this we can have the uh, connection between the uh, node.js code and the uh, our, our db so uh, we'll copy this later now we have to move uh, to the uh, node.js code we will write the node.js code from scratch so uh, let's minimize this and create the new folder in this folder uh, we will write the code from the scratch so uh, let's name it like the node uh, api uh, we will create api so we can write the api in uh, node.js any any name we can give it so let's do this so now we will open the uh, microsoft code uh, and we will drag and drop this folder here uh, it's easy to open here so we need to, oh it's okay it's asking with the permission so i'll uh, give the permission here okay so now uh, we are <coughs> in this folder uh, we don't have any file any code so uh, first of all we need to check uh, the node and the npm version uh, there are multiple videos available on youtube you can like check those videos to like install how to install the node and, and npm so to test the uh, version you can write the node dash v or version so it will give you the current version of the node and you can check the npm version so i am checking this so i am having the node and npm installed already so <coughs> now i can create a new project so for this there is a command npm init by doing this uh, this will create a new node project for us uh, so this will ask for some information uh, if we want we can uh, put the information here like the package name i am writing i will leave this empty uh, we, so this is also i don't want to fill anything description i can write the anything we can write i'm writing this line api development in node any kind of thing we can write so <coughs> With MongoDB also, yeah. So, uh, if you want, you can change this at your end. Yes, and uh, the entry point will be the in desktop.js, and the desktop the things I am leaving as it is blank. In the last, it will ask yes. When we click on yes, you can see the project is created. We can see the package.json file. In the folder left panel so now we will install the uh, dependencies the express package this will help us to create the apis and uh, other uh, services so uh, by doing this uh, we will install the express member the package sorry so you can see uh, the package is installed in package.json we can go and check the current version whatever it is and here we can see all the dependencies currently we have only one and uh, we need to create the index.js file because that is the main entry point for us so uh, as you can see here so now i'm creating the index.js file so the, now in this file we will write the code uh, we will create a server here with the help of express package so we will uh, import the package here so i am importing the package by creating a constant variable so express request to require then the package name express 
now we will write the port number uh, on which port the server will be running so i am uh, writing the port number here the 5000 uh, for now uh, we can write any number here uh, so currently i have written the 5000 now we will create the app uh, from the uh, express package so let's create the app object app Express dot express uh, constructor will call and now uh, we are ready to listen a server on a port. So app dot listen here we need to pass the port that we have already written on a constant. So we will write the port uh, and then a callback function will be there and if it is cor correctly working then we can console.log so we can write the server is running on port we can write any message from writing server server is running on the port the current port that is that we have passed yes so we have created a server now <coughs> we can check this by running the uh, this index JSON file so node and the file name oh so this is giving me error let's see what the error is so it's saying the already uh, in use of uh, 5000 address already is in use that means uh, this port is used already so uh, now we need to change the port number uh, we cannot go with this port number because this is already used by some other application or some other computer process so yeah this is already used so we will change the port number uh, from 5000 to any of the one so i am taking the port number as a, like the 8000 we can change it i think this is free uh, this is available for us uh, so let's run again save it and again run it check yeah it's working so our server is working perfectly now uh, we can check uh, by running on the browser so i'm writing the a get request simple request so app dot get is the method and uh, here it's a callback Will be there and we, the request and response to parameter uh, we need to write here and we have to return the response if it is working fine then this will be shown to the user when user will like call our application from a browser or from the postman also so i'm showing the welcome message to the user so we need to cancel this and again run the server so our server is running let's check so our, we have chosen the port 8000 yes so it is working fine as you can see welcome message is appearing now uh, <clears throat> let's move to the application again so this is our mongodb that uh, we have already created so we will connect this uh, mongodb with our node.js application here we will connect this let's close the application terminate this let's close the server and uh, now we need to install the uh, a package called mongoose this will help us to uh, connect with the mongodb server so we are installing the package mongoose uh, for detailing of mongoose you can go on the google and check the mongoose website 
there are like couple of methods available so as you can see in package.json we have mongoose version so two dependencies are there now we can copy this uri and we can write this in our code we can create a constant variable name as a uri and we will write the url here as it is and the password you remember we have set initially so i have set the password nakulet 1234 so we need to put the same password here otherwise this will not work now uh, we have to write a function to connect our code with the mongodb okay so i am uh, creating a function here uh, the function will be async await we need to write async because this is asynchronous fun functioning will be there so for this we need to use the try case if any error will occur then <coughs> catch will be helping us to print the console error so i am uh, printing the console error yeah sometime it happens that there will be some problem and uh, if uh, we are not successfully connected with the db then the error will help us to know that what is the problem now uh, we will write the code to connect our node.js application with the mongodb so there is a function called connect in mongoose it is taking the uri and we have already uh, created the uri constant so uh, if it is connected successfully then we'll print the console log and we'll uh, write the message connect to db this this is a simple function uh, mongoose will help us to create uh, to connect and to create a function so we'll call this a function from here and we will check by running the server again it is connected or not uh, so let's uh, run the server by node index.js command and let's see what happens so it's showing me error uh, uri must include host name domain okay so <clears throat> uh, there is a problem so, uh, in this url uh, because uh, yeah so here the problem is that i have taken the uh, password as nakul add one two three add is a special symbol so for a special symbol uh, there should be uh, some uh, special kind of string for at the rate we have the percentile 40 so i have replaced that with our percentile 40 now i believe this will work let's run this again and yes okay good it's connected to db and server in this so we have successfully connected with our db so uh, let's close this and now we will write some code where we can create a schema and routes so that uh, we can like save our data on the db and can get the data from the db so i have first created a root folder so all the routes or our application will come here so uh, i'm creating a user dot js file here uh, so all the user related query or calls will come in this route so i'm creating the user dot js file now we are uh, using the express for the uh, router part so uh, we'll import the express package here and then uh, we will use the router function and uh, so it is imported and now we'll create the router router will actually help us to route all the calls related to that particular user so that's why we are we are actually segregating the code here so uh, i have created the object now uh, this will support all the 
methods like get, post, delete, update, everything. So now I'm writing the method to get all the users available in DB. So actually we don't have any user right now. So I'll use the uh, <coughs> demo text string right now. So uh, this get function will use the question response and will provide a callback. So in this callback, uh, I'm returning a simple string to test uh, it is working fine or not. Once it will be working fine, then we will obviously uh, use the data here from, we will fetch the data from the MongoDB that we have already connected. And uh, now uh, one get request we have completed now we have to export this so that we can use this in our index.js file so we are uh, importing here module dot sorry exporting here uh, module dot export so that's done now we'll move to the uh, index.json and we will import the our router here So we are importing router. This router will be uh, working as a middleware in the request. So this express framework will help us to redirect all the user related things. So we have created, uh, we have imported the router. Now uh, we will use the middleware and app dot use this use function will help us to bind our middleware with this express so our root will be the users so all the users related query will be redirect to this user route that's it only so now we are good to go. Uh, we can have a small test uh, by running the application. So uh, yes, so it is connected with the DV and also server is running. Now we can use the local host. Uh, so actually we are not uh, using this user slash users. Uh, we have to write the exact path. Yes, now we are able to see this. Our application is working proper. Now, the main thing that we are like creating this video, we need to create a schema so that our application will communicate with this uh, database. So we'll uh, create a model folder there. All the models will be put in here. So we'll create the user.js model and we'll create, we will create the schema here. So to create a schema, mongoose package will help us. Uh, you remember we uh, installed the mongoose package. So we'll uh, import the package here <coughs> and this will be helping us to create the schema. Schema is a kind of the uh, the collection this this will be the collection in the mongodb and this will have some properties uh, and we need to tell about uh, the different kind of properties this kind of property we are taking so uh, we are creating the schema here uh, so we have created the new mongo mongoose object and mongoose dot schema uh, in this we can write a json kind of parameters so for now suppose the user having name name will be the string so we have taken name as a string and uh, suppose you have a dov so we are taking uh, the key parameter as a dov 
and BOV will also be a number for us. Sorry, a string. So this will also be a string. And suppose uh, if you want your parameter should be required. So we are taking mobile number and here uh, we can use <coughs> different types like the name the type should be string and if we want this should be must uh, be available so we will set required as a true so i have written this for your your uh, understanding so that you can understand you can pass this in this way also so now we have we have to export this schema so to export the schema we have to use the mongoose dot model and here we need to pass the model name so we will pass the user and the schema so what it will do it will create a user in the mongodb with this schema available now we will move to the our routes folder and we will import this user schema and <coughs> we will fetch and save the data with the help of this user so we have created a user object and imported here so i am writing this code in this way so that you can uh, write a simple code uh, in mvc pattern and uh, because uh, we are uh, communicating with the server so also uh, sorry with the db so this process will be asynchronous so i have used this async and with async we need to write this try case so that everything will be in good way if it is not in perfect way then this will give us error so we need to know about the error we will use the user function uh, user dot uh, find the find function will help us to get all the records available for the user i think i yes so this is a typo for me so once i'll get all the users record i'll send this same records to the uh, to the caller of the api in the form of json with the status code 200 so response dot status 200 dot json in json i'll pass all the users record if there is no users available if there is some error occurred then we will send the error to the user so for this what we can do is that get request either we can call this request from the browser or we can use the postman so this will be uh, easy for us to use the postman because for the next request that we will create the post request we will definitely use the postman so i have started the server it's connected to db let's open the postman so postman is open now we have to pass the path it's asking for the operation uh, i should i think i should take the path from the browser i have already called uh, api so yes the path is also there so i am copying this and will use in postman so it's a get request so i think the result will be obviously the result will be blank because we have not saved anything into the db so it's returning the blank array so our application is working fine for now to save the data we have to create the post request so now we will move to our route class and we will create the post request here post request what it will do it will 
take the data from the response and that from the data we can do anything we can save it we can manipulate whatever we want we can do this is done in post request so in post request this the call will be asynchronous so we will use the async await try catch all these things that we have done earlier and uh, uh, we will get the data and create the new user object we will get the data from the request so uh, the user that we are creating that we have already defined in the user schema so the user will having the name dob and mobile number name so these information we will get from the request body so uh, the, the way to retrieve the information is to request dot body dot whatever parameter we are passing so here we have taken name dob and mobile number so name we have taken request dot body dot, dot dob in the same way we will get the mobile number so it's very easy to get the request parameters mobile so we have created the object now we have to save this object into the db and uh, for this we will use the try catch because it's just a synchronous call await creating same way if the error occurred we have to show the error we can copy from here now what we will do we will save this new user so mongoose provide us the function to save this that's a very simple function save and uh, this will return some results so we are taking the result in a constant it's user dot save that's it only uh, we will return this result to the this user in the form of response so that he will know the api is working fine it is returning error or the result so i am returning the result as it is now we can see it is working fine or not let's again okay so what we can do uh, we can now create a db so i'm writing the name as a like test app api so uh, only api so uh, in the atlas mongodb we will uh, we having this database name under this database name our data will be saved let's again create the server and again do start then now this point of time we will need the postman because we will be using the post request here so get is working fine we need to post this and the post request in the post we have to send the data in the form of json so we'll use row to here we'll use the json so we need to pass three things uh, the name the dob and the mobile number so i'm creating the json here so this is a dummy text so i'm writing any name any name dov anything we can write here but uh, it will be good we i have not uh, written any validation so uh, we can we have to like it will be good if we are writing the uh, each information correct way but whenever we will create a live project then we need to take care of each information <coughs> so i have created this Jason and let's see what happens. 
and uh, yeah so there is some problem uh, yes i i know what is the problem and uh, i have not used uh, yes so the problem is uh, it's not recognize the name yes okay so i know what is the problem so let's print the request here so that you can you guys can see if we are getting the request or not request dot body the parameter we are receiving or not let's again hit the api the postman start the server and hit the api so the problem will be same because uh, we have not resolved this we have just printed the request parameters so parameters we are getting uh, now because this is not reading this name because uh, we are passing the uh, parameters in the form of json and in the code we have not provided anything that will listen that will read the json express framework will help us to do this we will use the middleware express.json what it will do it will read all the data that is coming in the form of json so now uh, this will work i believe again run the application start the server clear everything remember these operation we are doing this will be on the cloud db so now yes <laughs> so it's created record has been created now we can test so this is the parameter that we have print okay here we have printed console.log so everything is working fine now we need to check this record onto the cloud mongodb it is working not so there should be a database name test let me refresh this and again to see the data we need to browse the collections it's loading and yes you can see in the <laughs> test api a user table is users collection is there and the record is there we can add one more record uh, let me copy this to another tab so get request is there so we will get the all the data and let me uh, add one more record we can write the any name i am writing varun dummy number and send the request let's see what happens oh it's working fine there should be two records here it's fetching the data and yeah so we have two records our application is working very very well we have connected our node application with the mongodb cloud mongodb and we can retrieve the data we have covered uh, save and retrieve data from the um, mongodb so uh, that's it for to for this video if you guys uh, find this video helpful then uh, you can like and subscribe my channel so thank you for watching uh, this video we will meet in the next video thank you